Remember these? The cassette tape had its biggest selling year in the UK back in 1989, with 83 million of them sold to British music lovers. Fast forward to 2014 and sales hit rock bottom. In fact, they were practically non-existent. But then something changed. What maybe helped to turn it around was a uh, film franchise, Guardians of the Galaxy, which used the cassette as a key part of the story of that film. Um, and uh, the, 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 the film company involved quite cleverly put out a cassette version of the soundtrack as a bit of a novelty, a bit of a gimmick to help promote it. But this seemed to kind of uh, capture the imagination, certainly of those film fans, and it sold quite well. Uh, and then I think record labels noticed that there potentially could still be interest in the cassette, in, in analogue. Even the likes of Kylie Minogue, for example, actually released an album on that format. So here we have the Kylie Step Back in Time release. Mm -hmm. Last year, around 80,000 cassettes were sold in the UK. That's up 60% from the previous year. I think the younger generation now are really excited that they're able to go out and buy these physical formats. Um, cassettes in particular are great to sell at gigs. They're affordable, so the young generation that are going out to gigs more often now can pick up a cassette at a gig, pop it in their pocket, and then they they've feel a bit closer to the artist. The resurgence of the cassette tape was so unexpected, it took the music industry by surprise. What may have started out as a gimmick has tapped into a demand from fans for physical music formats. The likes of Billie Eilish, Robbie Williams and the 1975s have all put their latest albums on cassette. Cassettes are slowly reappearing back on the shelves. And while artists are releasing their latest offerings almost as a piece of merchandise, second-hand cassettes are being sold once again. But unlike the resurgence of vinyl, these cassettes are not really being bought for their sound quality. And let's not forget some of its pitfalls, a magnetic tape that could often catch, or worse, break. So if it's not about musical quality, what's driving interest? Anyone that grew up with it will know that actually it has its frustrations. But of course we shouldn't overlook the fact that it gave us independence and freedom of movement, which was a real innovation at the time. So you don't buy it for its, its audio quality. Uh, you buy it because you just find the idea of owning it and, and collecting it and touching it and playing it sort of appealing for other reasons, I think. And it just fits in with this world where, as a completist music enthusiast, you like the idea of owning an album across different formats. Cassette sales make up only 0.1% of overall music consumption in the UK, which is dominated by streaming. And there's no indication they will follow in the footsteps of a vinyl resurgence. But demand for cassettes is climbing, and that could be music to the industry's ears. Natalie Powell, TRT World, London.